Welcome back to Core Solutions of Skype for Business 2015. And in this video, configuring and implementing conferencing in, at, in Skype for Business 2015. In this video, installing and configuring Office Web App Server, also known as an OWA server. So installing an OWA server, I'm going to install it and obtain certificates. Configure an OWA farm for, for SFB and then add OWA servers to the. So first, I'm going to install the OWA server and obtain certificates. After I install this, Add a snap in. Certificates, I'm going to add it here. In the computer account. Close the other one. And here, I'm going to go into the one of certificates. Personal store, I'm going to go down to. And I'm going to request new certificate. Certificate enrollment. Okay, and then I'm going to do this. I'm going to do is default active directory enrollment and click next. And this can take a little bit of time because then it's going to talk to active directory. So now I'm going to do is this. I'm going to select this one and more information about this one right here. Subject name. I'm going to pick common name. And I'm going to fill in some information in here. London WAC at a datum.com. Add that. The alternate, I'm going to pick DNS. Same thing, same value. London that's work we did in the account. And the firmly name. That's very important. I suggest you cut and paste this in because it's very important. If you type it in wrong, you're wondering. So we take a look at WAC in caps and then CERT in lowercase. I have a private key tab right here. I'm going to make the key exportable. Apply. Okay. Now I'm going to click on Enroll, and if all goes well, it'll be enrolled. I'm going to take a look under Personal and the Certificate. Notice you see this one right here. Great. Great. Fantastic on this. I'm going to do this close this MMC. We don't need that anymore. Now I'm going to do is I need to now install the service pack. Now it should install just nice and see how the other one was on there.
now that I've installed the service pack on here, I'm going to now um, run the PowerShell as an admin. So, new office web app spawn, and here is right now, and that's a certain name. Let's see if it works. Here's all the settings on the new web apps OWA farm. So now I'm going to do next, try to go to the website. So I'm going here. HTTPS, London Wackadatum.com. Post and discovery. And if all goes well, I should have an XML doc. So now I have a, um, the XML document. The next thing I'm going to do, I've done that. Now I'm going to add an OWA server to the SFB topology. So I'm going to switch to SFB1. I'm going to go to the topology builder. Add 5A. Saving it as there. Spare the data headquarters. Open this one right here and select one. And the properties. And I'm going to associate the pool with an OWA. Click new. Okay. Say okay. And I'm going to publish. So now that I've done is it's all published. That's great. This concludes this video demo.